Alright, fishy folks, and happy Sunday funny to you. Hope everyone had a great weekend so far. Did some cool stuff in the fish room. I've been moving a little bit of fish around and working on my guppies, trying to make them as best as I can for you to buy at www.michaelsfishroom.com. Last day for promo code World Cup. Ending it today, people. So if you want to get that $10 discount, buy some fish today. So today's rant is brought to you by Facebook, especially overpriced aquariums. Now, there actually is a Facebook group called Overpriced Aquariums for Sale, and Karen, Karen Haas, um, is the one that turned me on to it. You've heard me talk about Karen before. She's awesome. She breeds all kinds of cares fish. Her husband, Alan, is from England. Also pretty awesome, even though he's from England. Whatever. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about overpriced aquariums. So this started yesterday. I was on a Facebook group called, what's it called? Volunteer, stand by. It's called Volunteer State Aquatics Group. And it's a good group. It's kind of small. I think there's only about five or 600 members. But it's a good group. For the most part, people are helpful. We'll just say they're sane. Because there are some groups, um, I don't want to mention any groups names, Fish Tank Enablers. Those people are crazy. Not as crazy as better groups. Link to the better rant right here. Um, but crazy. Anyway, let's get back to Volunteer State Aquatics Group. Uh, I like the group. It's a good group. There's good people. But somebody made a post, and I'm not going to mention her name. A 180-gallon Reef Ready Aquarium. The price is listed at $470. I'm already thinking that's a little high, but it gets better. <clears throat> 180 gallon reef ready aquarium, solid cherry stand, 470 just in wood. You can seal or stay in the way you want. You get the stand and tank, 1400. I have sumps and pumps if you want a complete setup. $1400. Now, the first problem I have with the ad is, the price is listed at 470. So me trying to be a good Samaritan, I swear I was trying to be a good Samaritan, message the, or post actually, by the way, this post was taken down at some point yesterday. I took a picture of the post so I could refer back to it later. I didn't take a picture of all my postings because I didn't think it was gonna be taken down because there really wasn't anything wrong other than the owner was, or the OP will say, um, doesn't know how to post on Facebook. So I say, is it 470 or 1400? And she says, it's 1400. It's 470 just in wood. And I say, oh, because the ad says 470. And she says, that's because that's the first number I put in the ad. And that's how Facebook prices it. So I pause for a moment and ponder. How do I answer this? Let's continue to be on the up and up and not really try to troll. I responded, maybe you should change the posting. Now she probably read it as, maybe you should change the posting, but I posted it as, maybe you should change the pricing. Enthusiastically helpful. She responds, and I wish I had it, but she responds something like, <clears throat> the post says, you get tank and stand for 1400. Maybe some people aren't bright enough to read the whole thing. Again, I'm pondering. How should I answer this? That's right, sarcasm comes back. So I responded, blah, 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 something to the effect of, I was just trying to help you, you know, nobody's gonna buy your dumb, oh, oh, I know what happened. She said something like, I'm sorry my post offended you, God bless. Yeah, listen, I respect the fact that you have faith, believe in God, have religion. I get that, I do, I have respect for it. I will never ever bash that. What I don't like is you trying to push that on me. I don't tell you to go eat bacon, no. I don't tell you, hey, you know what? This 
bacon cheeseburger is the best. Eat it. No, that's basically what you're doing when you push religion on me. Okay, folks? Stepping off the religion soapbox. So, of course, I respond in kind. Nobody's going to buy your dumb, overpriced, expensive fish tank. I was just trying to help. I don't really care. Something like that. And then, of course, the post was taken down at some point after that because I kind of stopped caring about it. Here's the thing, people. If you're going to post something on Facebook with a price and it's outrageous, nobody's going to buy. Nobody. <clears throat> Let's talk about some other overpriced aquariums. If you go to the group, overpriced aquariums for sale, and you look, I have a lot of postings because I find a lot of these things, and they're crazy. <clears throat> Post number two. 10 gallon aquarium, $95. And there's three fancy fantail goldfish. And some pretty hideous decorations. I'll try to put a post of the picture here. A ten dollar, a ten gallon aquarium is ten dollars new. If it includes the stand, the light, the hood, and the filter, I still would only pay ten dollars. But you might pay twenty with the stand, maybe even thirty. That's probably the max you should pay. It's the crappy uh, LED hood, so you can't grow lights. But if you're just looking for a ten gallon, you know, for the kitchen or for the bedroom or something, it's probably doable. I can't tell what filter is, but it looks pretty crappy. And of course you get the goldfish. The winner though <clears throat> is something from June 28th that I posted. Fish tank, $750. It's probably a 20 gallon octagon tank. It has a light. I don't think it has a lid. <clears throat> $750. Knew that thing was only $200 probably. With the crappy stand. Plus, octagon tanks are useless. You really can't keep any fish in them. I mean, I guess you can keep some fish, but most fish don't like the height without the width. So, stupid. Standby battery's going dead. All right, fishy folks, I'm back after that super fast battery swap. I have three batteries for the camera. It eats batteries. Um, anyway, hope the video is good. Hope the quality is better. The sound is better. I've upped that both those uh, those things, hoping to make some better videos. I've also been working on the thumbnail, so hopefully that uh, that helps too. But let's get back to overpriced aquariums and my rant. <clears throat> this really isn't overpriced, but it's pretty funny. Triangle fish tank. It's square. It's not triangle. Triangles have three sides, not four. This is a square. It has four. Now, it could be a rectangle and have four. Triangle. Square. So, not really overpriced. It was only 80 bucks. It's probably in the ballpark for this tank. Looks like it could be, actually it looks pretty small. It looks like it's maybe a 20 cube or a 30 cube. Uh, still, only a dollar per gallon used. Mo at, at most, usually only 50 cents. That's my, my going rate. All right, <clears throat> we'll do another one. Oh, I remember this from Craigslist. Price reduced, full salt aquarium setup. $2,300. I'm no salt guy, but I can't imagine everything you put in that tank cost $2,300. Oh, $1,300 bio cube. Aren't they like 200 bucks new? 
It's 32 gallons. What could you have in there that's that expensive? All right. Oh, this is my favorite post. And I think I actually interacted with these guys. And this was my first Facebook rant about wasting time. Yeah. Rimless 50 gallon aquarium. It's a 50 gallon, it's a 55 actually, without the plastics. They called it rimless. Holds water. The picture isn't of it holding water. I believe these are the same people that started my rant when I went out to look at the acrylic aquarium that was the same way. No plastics. I'm like, that's glass. No, I think it's acrylic. No, I'm pretty sure it's glass. Then they turned their, changed their minds and said, oh yeah, I think it just needs the plastics. You could buy those like $10 each. No, they're like $15 or $18 each. And um, I need two. Then they said I only need one, whatever. Link to that rant up there too. So fishy folks, that's my time for today. Ranting about prices on Facebook. Why? Because if you're gonna post something on Facebook, be realistic with the prices you want. Take what it costs you new, divide by two. Divide it in half. Did I do my math right? Take the price you paid new, divide it in half. That's a price you should be charging. If you want half and you want to bump it up a little bit in case people try to, you know, chew down the price, chew down the price, then bump it up a little bit, but expect people to haggle, especially on Facebook and Craigslist. All right, fishy folks. Hope everyone has a great day. Hope everyone stays fishy. Happy Sunday fun day. Fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, a video on me messing with my beard and my mustache that needs to be trimmed. <coughs> Triangles have three sides. That's two. <laughs>